Hi guys, I'm Cody J and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's eyeshadow tutorial video, I'm going to be walking you through how to fake a cut crease using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Controversy Palette. So to get things started, you definitely want to make sure that you're priming your lid with some sort of base or concealer. I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 01. Now you're going to take this fluffy brush and dip into a little bit of flat earth. And you're going to lightly brush it in circular motions over your lid above the crease to start. Now this color is very light, so we're not looking for a lot of pigmentation right off the bat. Next, we're going to dip into a little bit of exposed, and we're going to take the shadow a little bit lower than where we placed the first blue shade, and we're going to very softly blend this into the blue. Continue blending until there's no harsh lines whatsoever, and you have the desired level of pigmentation. Next, we're going to dip into Flat Earth one more time with the exact same brush and just softly brush over the entire look so far just to make sure that everything is blended and seamless and make sure that everything is just smooth and perfect because that's what we do on this channel. We want perfection. Next up, we're going to take a Morphe M456 brush and dip into a little bit of Cancel. Now we're going to stamp on this shadow in our crease and we're just going to keep stamping over and over until we get our desired level of pigmentation. Now take this shadow and kind of trace around your natural crease and go from the very inner corner to the outer corner or vice versa. Then stamp it downwards at a diagonal angle onto your lid. Next we're just going to go back into some blending motions by using small circular motions and little back and forth motions just to kind of scratch at the edge to make sure there's no harsh lines. Doing this helps to ensure that the blending is seamless when we add another shade or we blend in a little bit more of the purple from the beginning. Next, dip into Flat Earth again and take it over the edge of the blue just to kind of blend everything a little bit better and to get rid of any harsh lines we may have gotten. Again, scratching the edge before we like we did makes it a lot easier. Next, take this flat packing brush and dip into a little bit of My Boyfriend's Purse and stamp this all over the space on your lid that doesn't have any shadow. Now we left that empty intentionally, obviously, so that we don't actually have to cut our crease, which most people don't like doing. Doing this technique gives you essentially the cut crease look without having to go through the steps with your concealer or base to cut your crease. It saves a lot of time. Keep packing it on until you get the level of pigmentation that you prefer. Next, dip into a little bit of the simulation and blend that on your outer V just to blend in the dark blue in the middle and the shimmer on your lid. Again, no harsh lines, not on this channel, not today, not ever. Next, you're going to dip into the simulation with a little bit of controversy and blend that into your outer V one more time. Now, this shadow I found to be a little bit more difficult to blend out, unlike the others. The first couple shades were very easy to blend, and it just was very easy. This shadow, on the other hand, was a little bit difficult. So just have some patience if you're having an issue like I was, and just make sure you're going over it with small circular motions, and just keep blending and blending and blending until you're happy with it. Next, you're going to take this Makeup Shack T14 brush and dip into Cancelled, and you're going to run this along your lower lash line, and you want to get this first shadow as close to your lash line as you possibly can. Now, while you're blending, make sure if you have not liked this video that you please give it a like so that I know that you enjoy it in this type of video, and I will definitely make more. Blend, 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 blend. Now dip into a little bit of Exposed and using that same brush, just kind of soften the blue a little bit by running it across the blue and kind of don't take it up as high, but obviously you just want to blend it out at the bottom so you kind of give a little bit more of a soft, smoky effect. Now while you guys are blending this shadow, please make sure you leave me a comment letting me know any future videos or eyeshadow looks you'd like to see. Now take a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, I'm using the purple, and run it across your lower waterline. Then we're going to take some mascara. I'm using Pony Cosmetics The White Knight Mascara. And obviously give a nice coating on your upper and lower lashes.
Next, pick out your favorite pair of lashes. These are the Style After Hours from Bella & Co., which you can use code JAY10 for 10% off your orders. Just give it a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Make sure they're in place. Don't stab your eyeball. We don't know. We don't want any stabbed eyeballs not on this channel, no. Now dip into Controversy again and put it in your inner corner with a little pencil brush just to give it that little pop. And that is your tutorial on how to fake a cut crease using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Controversy Palette. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you like it, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.